I'm, in, I'm from Ada Clevenger, and I'd like to thank my language arts teacher, Mr. Barrett, for helping me with the story. Um, and I'm going to read my story called Hope for the Hopeless. It's about two kids in Cambodia. I didn't know what happened until it was over. By that, I mean my ears death. Poverty is common in Cambodia, and we were among the poorest. My mom had died while giving birth to my younger brother, but my father was still alive at that time. Four days later, he was swept away by a huge monsoon. My brother, Savan, and I left destitute. Now, here we are, three years later, living in the streets of Siem Reap, begging for change and selling bracelets made of pull tabs taken from the tops of old soda cans. By selling these, I can make about 45 cents a day, almost 2,000 riel, the Cambodian currency. That's enough money to buy food for Savan and I. As I walked up Street 9, I could already smell the fresh aromas of garlic, jasmine, and tamarind coming from food stalls. I walked to the marketplace and straight to the fruit stall. I bought a durian, walked to the shop next to it, where I bought a small portion of rice. Then I headed home. Or at least what I called home. My brother and I lived toward the end of Canoe Street by Pokemore Avenue and Old Market Bridge. As I turned to Old Market Bridge, I heard my brother yell, Jordani, he cried. Big tourists want bracelet. What he meant was that three tourists wanted the bracelets that we sell. But since he was only three, he couldn't speak proper English like I could, and always got his Khmer mixed up with his English. So, Vaughn, I'm coming, I replied. Hurry! I quickened my pace. I turned the corner and saw him surrounded by two large male tourists and one small female one. The female was skinny and her hair was dark, but her smile was wide and bright. I instantly liked her. For a second, I forgot what I was supposed to be doing, but then I remembered and rushed over to my brother. What would you like to buy? I asked the tourists. Three base bracelets, please, replied the larger of the two men. That will be 600 rail, please. The men paid and left. When they had gone, the woman sat down beside me. I jumped back and pulled Savan to, onto my lap. The woman said, my name is Sarah. I live in America, but my father left me a piece of land here, and I'm going to stay. You two look like you need some help. Yes, ma'am, I replied. So tell me, said Sarah, how did you get this way? What are you living, what are you doing on the streets? I told her the story of how my mom and Eu died. After that, she said, wow, you guys have been through so much. We sat quietly for a bit with the sound of tuk-tuks riding in the street and cars walking in the distance. Then she said, well, I need to get back to my home here. Please stay safe, and I will try and see you again soon. Goodbye, and with that, she left. My brother and I stared at each other, for no one had ever been that nice to us before. Then I remembered the durian, and we opened it and ate it with rice. <coughs> Days passed until we saw Sarah again, but our meeting with her changed our lives. When we saw her, she brought us some rice and lentils, for which we were very grateful. She kept coming back every day or so, sometimes just to talk or sometimes to give us food. After about a month, she came and said, Jordani, Sovan, yes, Sarah, I have grown very fond of you over this past month, and I was wondering if I could adopt you. We stared at her until Savan spoke and said, Please, Sarah, yes. We rejoiced, for we had grown very fond of Sarah. She took us home and to her house. There we lived for, through our childhood. Sarah put me through high school and did the same for my brother. Then I became a teacher and helped many young children. Savan became a doctor and helped many <coughs> families in need. We helped Sarah pay the bills and gave her someone to love. We expanded the land that her father had given her and gave it to some of our patients and students' families who helped us in any way they could. Soon we had a community. And what brought this whole community together? One simple act of kindness. Thank you.